Okay. So for the final outcome card, we have the moon. So many different interpretations to this card. Now, a lot of times the moon indicates things that are hidden. Okay. This can indicate deception. This can indicate a betrayal, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. A lot of times this can indicate that, you know, if you've had this gut feeling that something big is coming or like something like a big change is coming, well, then the moon card is here to say you're absolutely right. There is a big change on the horizon coming. And sometimes it's going to indicate that perhaps we have made a mountain from a mohill. Okay. The moon can exaggerate our emotions. It's like our emotions on steroids. So sometimes this can lead to like an emotional outburst. Perhaps you may regret it later. And maybe it needed to happen. <laughs> this is the future, so this could be a couple weeks out. For some of you, you could already be going through this situation. But this can also indicate deception, lies, betrayal, you know, things that happen at night. Clandestine, also known as shady type of activities, you know. <laughs> Which really makes me take into consideration this five of swords in reverse and this page of swords so this can be third party secret information coming through this being gossip and then with the moon secret information things that are hidden so some of you could receive some information that's been hidden from you and for some of you you may end up hearing that, you know, potentially someone else has been gossiping about you. And they've been doing it behind your back. This can play out in so many different ways. But I'm definitely sensing, you know, some betrayals. Most definitely. This could be in a romantic relationship. This could be in a platonic relationship. You know, friendship. Oof. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it could even be in the workplace for some of you. Yeah. Mm, okay. <sighs> we will come back to that. Okay. So, for the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse position. So, the Five of Cups in the upright position is about going through a loss and a disappointment in love. Now, that it's in the reverse position, this is indicating that you are healing from a disappointment and your hope is returning and things are getting better. So some of you could secretly be wishing for things to, you know, be done and so the healing process can begin. For some of you, you've already been going through a healing process from a relationship that went to hell, <laughs> so to speak, and you're healing, and your hope is renewed, and your confidence is coming back. A lot of times with this card, it can indicate a desire for making new friends. Sometimes Old acquaintances, older friends can return, you know, friends that we haven't seen in a long time and they can just, you know, appear out of nowhere and, you know, very unexpectedly. So this could be a good thing. You know, you definitely are starting to get some enthusiasm back and you're not looking at love like it's, you know, absolutely horrible. You realize that, you know, things can get better. Maybe that particular relationship just wasn't what was best for you. Obviously, it wasn't what was best for you. And that's why it was done. But I feel that some of you are still in a relationship that, that needs to come to an end. And you'll know who you are. So, okay. 
So, clarifying the devil, we get the death card. So, most definitely, I mean, two major trump cards here. Smack dab together. So, yes, absolutely. There was an end of one cycle. You definitely ended some sort of addiction. You've ended some sort of obsession. Perhaps an obsession or addiction to having a fearful state of mind. You know, perhaps some of you have ended a toxic karmic relationship. Whether it was a romantic relationship, a marriage, or a, you know, platonic relationship. You know, could have been a friendship. Could have been a business partnership. But... The death card is definitely indicating that the transition has taken place. And now you're going towards a new path and you need to continue along this new path. Because the death card comes in to let us know that we need to leave whatever this was behind. It was no good for us. It was holding us back. Okay? So whatever it was that you guys have let go of, let it go. It wasn't serving you. It was holding you back in the long run. And now, you're not stuck in those, you know, sticky chains of bondage. Okay, so for the circumstances, we had the judgment in the reverse position. It is clarified by the Knight of Wands. So, typically the Knight of Wands, this is a very positive card. The Knight of Wands brings changes. And a lot of times these changes are very unexpected. But these changes are always positive changes. Sometimes it can be indicating a, a move, you know, a change of residence. Perhaps, in, you know, a new job, you know, an opportunity for a new job. Sometimes this can indicate travel, you know, or the opportunity to go traveling or to go on a journey of some sort so perhaps someone has giving been offering you an opportunity and maybe you made a snap decision maybe out of not being able to trust who knows maybe you didn't feel like it was the right thing for you but trust me, whatever this is that's being offered or was being offered, it is a positive change. I mean, these changes that come with the Knight of Wands are always, always positive. But perhaps you're just stuck in the past for some of you. Maybe some of you can't see the true nature of the situation. Maybe this is happening and you're being offered this opportunity so that you can get away. So that you can walk away and get a new start. But maybe some of you are not taking this, you know, opportunity. Definitely want to be honest with yourself. Don't lie to yourself. And be careful of making impulsive, hasty decisions. Okay, we had our focus card, which is the seven of coins, and it is clarified by the two of coins. So, two money cards together, they're both in the upright position. This is a positive. So, the seven of coins in the upright, reaping what we sow. It's also about investing time, money, you know, energy into you know something whether it be like a business deal or a relationship whatever it may be it shows you've definitely invested a lot of your time and energy into this now when we clarify with the two of coins this shows that you are juggling financial matters perhaps you're juggling you know two three different jobs you know maybe you have many different financial obligations and you're juggling things but the upside to this is that you have the ability to do so. You, you almost make it look easy. <laughs> and sometimes with the two of coins, sometimes there can be some disappointing news that comes along. But 
don't let it, you know, knock you around to, to try to take you off balance because it's really not that, it's really not that crucial. So if you happen to hear disappointing news, don't take it too seriously because you can continue to juggle all these different financial matters, aspects, whatever it is. Just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Because financially, it's good. Just keep juggling. And don't listen to any type of negative news, okay? Okay, this was your recent past or the energy that is passing. We had the King of Cups. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So, there was definitely an ending with someone that's being represented by the King of Cups. This can be a male or female. This could be someone that is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or someone with the general type of energy of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or it could just be the overall energy. But this is indicating a an ending. And it can be... It can be a pretty painful one. But, you know, sometimes this can be more in the mind, too. Sometimes we build things up so big in our mind that it can work against us sometimes. But this card is like, it's also called the nightmare card. And for good reason. Because sometimes with this particular energy... You might have felt that you were living a nightmare here in your recent past. Sometimes it can indicate actually having and struggling with having actual nightmares. And these nightmares can literally rock us to our core. This can also indicate unfaithfulness in a relationship. Deception, betrayal. There's definitely depression here. Anxiety. Anxiety in the moon as well. Sleepless nights can also be a, an issue. Same here with the moon. Anxiety disorders. Pretty sure I already said that, but yeah. So there was definitely a loss. Some of you, a few of you, could have potentially had to have a, a surgery. Yeah. And this would have been in your recent past. But for most of you, this is about going through a loss. And it is a painful type of loss, but we learn from it. And for some of you, this can be more, you know, within the mind. So some of you could be struggling with, you know, d depression or anxiety type disorders. Or, you know, this can actually indicate, you know, a betrayal and unfaithfulness in a relationship. Oof. Okay. Now for the present... We had the King of Wands in the reverse position. So, not believing in yourself, having a lack of self-confidence, not following things through. Okay. We clarify, we have the Page of Swords. So, here we are with a double dose of Page of Swords here. Hmm. Okay, so... <sighs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely some some major communication type of things occurring here. So, maybe some of you received this secretive information about a Leo, an Aries, a Sagittarius. Possible. That'll resonate with a few of you. If not, it could be someone that may express themselves like a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Hmm. But yes, again, I mean, third-party information, information that is secret, can also be spying. Also, disappointing news that forces us to make a quick decision. And for some of you, it could be indicating a child. A decision may need to be made about a child or children. Okay, so for the near future, we have the Page of Swords again. And it's clarified by the Ace of Coins in the reverse position. 
So for some of you, this is definitely going to in indicate some information or news or a decision that's going to have to be made that regards your finances or a new start, something that you've started new financial wise. A lot of times with the Ace of Coins in the reverse position, you really need to be careful when it comes to your budget. It's time to definitely be cautious with your money. You don't want to be blowing money on the things that you want. You really need to nail down what's a want and what is a need. You got to go for the things you need and put the things you want off for another day under this particular type of energy. Because perhaps the change that comes here shortly may cost you some money here. And you may not have enough money for this particular change. Maybe you started something. Perhaps some of you started a new job or a new business. And then you end up receiving some information or some disappointing news. And... Maybe you just weren't taking into consideration, you know, the the unexpected crap that can come up. And so you may be feeling a bit financially overburdened. Yeah. And sometimes this can indicate, you know, a need to be careful. You don't want to take the wrong direction with a new start that, it, you know, is going to be presented. But my feeling is, is that some of you are definitely going to experience financial difficulties. When this information comes in, finances will come into play. I have a feeling that some of you are going to need to move and or get out of a situation and you just may feel like you don't have the money to do so. Yeah, that'll resonate with, this, with some of you. Okay. So this was the attitude card. We had the three of wands in the reverse position. Mm, okay. Yeah, and I did mention partnership that is not equal. Someone's doing all the taking and the other's doing all the giving. And we have clarification. It is two of cups in the reverse position. So this shows that a particular relationship, this could be a platonic relationship or it could be a romantic relationship it can go either way but it is out of harmony it is not balanced so again the give is not equal to the take not seeing eye to eye a lot of times this card comes up because you could be at a crossroads so to speak and you're just really beginning to wonder should i put any more time or energy into this person because I don't think they're ever going to be what I need them to be. So, yeah, I mean, this definitely is indicating that there is a lack of balance. There's disharmony taking place. Now, it doesn't have to be. You can very easily make this situation turn around because you have free will. Especially if you, know, if you happen to be the one on the end that's doing all the taking. Well, then you can rectify the situation by giving back instead of doing all the taking. It's just a personal choice. It's totally up to you on how you want to proceed. So this particular relationship, you know, whether it's romantic or platonic, it doesn't have to be completely doomed. It's, you know, it, it's up to you. You know, and for some of you, you just might be looking at it like it's doomed, you know, especially if you're the one doing all the giving. Yeah. And if you're the one doing all the giving, I'm going to say, yeah, you should probably should be <laughs> done. You know, and when I say giving, it doesn't have to be, you know, all finances, you know, it can be someone who's constantly doing all the emotional stuff. You know, and then the others just simply benefiting, but they're not showing us, you know, any reciprocity back, you know. So that can make it feel really empty and just simply not worth it. Okay, so this was how other people see you. 
as I said, gossip, someone wanting to cause a problem, it's clarified by the hanging man. So, for some of you, some of you are literally in this situation, and you've been stuck in this situation, and some of you can actually get yourself out of this situation, but yet you refuse to do so because... Maybe you're hoping things will get better. Maybe you're thinking they'll see the light, but no. You know, the hanging man is about going into contemplation. You need to go within, be introspective, be honest with yourself. You know, is this situation something you want to continue fighting for? Because the hanging man definitely represents sacrifices being made. So, is this something worth, you know, sacrificing, you know? Or is this particular situation that you're in, is it worth you having to sacrifice? It can be for some of you. And for some of you, it's not going to be worth it. Again, follow your own gut. Do what you know is best for you. Because we all have different situations. But the hanging man is about considering making sacrifices that, that they've never made before. You know, ready to go into a new phase in life. You know, and trusting God and the divine to, to lead the way. But it can also indicate that you're just hanging around in a situation that you don't really need to be in.